So in this tutorial, we're going to be setting up, we're going to actually be backing up and restoring a virtual machine using Column Vault VSA, Virtual Server Agent. So the first thing to do is create your schedule policy. Look for your virtual server there. Click on Associations. Choose the association you need. In our case, it's the VM. Click on uh, General. We're going to actually click up Tasks, meaning Full and Incremental. Select Full. Collect, select the Schedule Patterns. We'll do this weekly, except for Friday. Every day except Friday at 9 p.m. Click OK. Incremental. Actually, actually, I should have done the full. I should do the incremental every day except Friday, and the the full should actually be done just once a week. Excuse me. So, click OK on that. So let's edit the full. Actually, let's edit the full. So we'll only use Friday only. And yep. So everything looks good there. Click OK. We're going to go to our VM and just omit files we don't want to back up. Click on filters and click on we want to actually back these up. I'm sorry the filter is what you don't want to back up um, so let's actually browse that. Let's actually browse and add something we don't want to back up on it. So we don't want to back up our data stores here. Those three we definitely don't do that. And the content we do want to back up is these three VMs. So let's go VM, Virtual Machine, and Templates. We'll select all three of these. So auto detection, actually, let's actually yeah close that because let's click OK. It's going to select all the protected VMs. So if we can right click and actually let's go to our schedule policy and click on VM and go run immediately and click full select full click OK and go to our job controller so in the when you double click on the job you'll see virtual machine status what it is you'll see the virtual machines which ones have backed up which ones have not backed up total virtual machines uh, successful virtual machine skipped warning failed it's going to give you a nice uh, bunch of graphics knowledge on, on what what's actually backing up very cool okay they have completed all backups have completed. So you have the total virtual machines, successful virtual machines, all of our good. So what you can do is you can double click on it and it'll tell you the size. There's no bytes because there's no data on it, but um, the virtual machine itself is, is 20, 20 gig. So um, interesting about uh, not installed VMware tools is very important um, to make that distinction. Because what happens is sometimes if you don't have VMware and tools installed or they're out of date, your backups fail. And so you you want to install VMware tools. You want to make sure they're up to date and, uh, before you back up. Or if you get a failure, that's one thing to look at is, is VMware tools installed? Are they running? Those are the things to look at. Let me show you what it looks like at the vCenter level. So when you back up a virtual machine, what happens is with 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 NetBack, I'm sorry, with Commvault, excuse me. What happens is it will it will take a snapshot, right? So the Commvault service actually what happens is it takes it takes a snapshot, it creates a virtual machine snapshot, right? And then it's a take snapshot. Okay, good. And then what it does is it releases this the the snapshot and it delete and it removes the snapshot after it's done backing up. That's every um, every tool, every backup uh, that uses every backup software that uses a virtual machine. It always that's the same thing. What they do is they 
um, they back up the VM, meaning they actually take a snapshot, back it up, and they release the snapshot after they're done. Remove it, if you will. So that's um, that's how to back up actual uh, VMs in Commvault. So let's try to let's delete one. Actually, let's delete the let's delete the Ubuntu Linux. Let's delete that guy. So I'm at the Ubuntu Linux now, and I'm just going to go right click, and I'm going to delete. Delete. Okay. Spectre Commvault here. Let's make sure it's deleted. Go to Properties. VM Filters. When you browse, you're seeing real time what's here. What's in there? Those are clusters. Okay, you don't. If you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course, which is I have two courses. One is at getajobnit.teachable.com, and the other course is on Udemy. It's learn backup and restore with Commvault, get a high paying job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.